Hi, I'm Somna Jha. Welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, you will get to know how to make banana flour curry, which, in my opinion, is one of the underrated recipe. Maybe because of the two reasons. Reason A, it's not that popular. Reason B, preparation takes time. Watch the video till the end, and do not skip any step. New viewers, consider subscribing my channel. Make sure to like, share, and comment your views about this channel, about this video, and do give it a try. So let's begin the reading session of my kitchen diaries. So this is how a banana flower looks like. Outer layer is called bracts or petals. To accompany it, I have a potato and a tomato. These are the outer bracts, which is not edible. Discard it one by one. Well, these are florets. Keep aside to clean later. Discard the purple layers to reach this golden or pale yellow inner bracts. When you see these layers like this, you can stop taking off the bracts. However, the core is edible, so chop it. We don't want this stem, so you know what to do. Now hold on and have some patience. Still a long way to go. As I said, preparation takes time. First chop the petals and do remember, after chopping you need to soak it in vinegar water or buttermilk to avoid discoloration. Here I am using vinegar water, just added 2 tablespoons of vinegar to a bowl of water. It will work for sure. These are the flores we have to work on. In flores, we need to discard pistil and scale like calyx, which is the translucent outermost petal that protects the florets. Plug the mastic like pistil out of florets. Also, take out the translucent and thin paper like petals out of each florets. Let me show you another sample. You need to do the same on every single floret. I repeat every single floret cause if not taken out it can give you a stomach ache. Finally did it. Now chop the florets in batches. Soak it in vinegar water. Boil in a pressure cooker to whistles on medium flame. Add water enough to cover it all. Once done with boiling, Fish out those bracts and florets which have turned black after boiling. As they make the curry to taste bitter. Discard bracts like the one on your screen right now. So here's the one I'll throw away. Now drain it. Place a karhai or wok on medium flame. Once hot, add cooking oil to it.
Once the oil is hot, drop in the cumin seeds. Cinnamon stick Dry red chilies Further goes in diced onion Mix well and let it caramelize. Then goes in chopped tomatoes. Followed by sodium swadhanusar. Now add in turmeric powder, coriander powder, sabzi masala, cumin powder, stir fry and then add potato. Saute it. If you are using boiled potatoes, you can add them along with banana flour. Then add crushed black pepper. As of now, potato is almost tender. Then goes in boiled banana flowers. Saute the veggies. Then add minced ginger and garlic. Give it a mix. Further add water to it as per your liking. Lastly add garam masala. This amount of liquidity goes perfect with rice. Now, this is fine if you are having it with your rotis. Banana flour curry is ready to be served. Give this awesome recipe a try and let me know in the comment section about your take on it. Keep watching Somnath's Kitchen Diaries. Thank you.